Hey guys, in today's video I'll be explaining how to bind this new Turnergy TGY-IA6C receiver with some of the older model Turnergies and even with the Fly Skies, so you can get SBUS or PPM, whichever you choose. Okay, so you can see my quad here. Now this is the receiver that I have put installed here. Now I've just soldered um, some different pins on, so as you can see it's the other way up compared to the other one, like if I flip that over, oh sorry, just let me get it to focus, there we go, so it's this way up, and I've just soldered the pins on, so I have the SBUS on, and the VCC, and the ground, so these three cables, so you've got your ground, your VCC, and that's my SBUS cable, now I'll just move my beeper out the way, now this part did screw me up a little, so I was trying to get this to work and I found out what you have to do is instead of sorry I'll bring it a bit closer so you can see okay so usually if you're using PPM you have your signal cable going to number one now if you want to use SBUS on the CC3D or most other like NAS boards and stuff like that you will have to put your signal cable into number four okay so now for binding the receiver what you want to do is you want to hook it up so you've got your power going to it and then what you'll do is you'll get your transmitter like this one here you hold down the bind button and turn it on put it into binding mode then you just plug in the quad so you get power and as you can see here i have now bound the remote to this receiver okay so with these new receivers also, you can notice here that I don't have an error showing up. Now, if I want to get error, so I can see how much signal I still have, you just go into your RX setup, choose your sensors, and see I have no sensors selected here. So here I can select my internal voltage, so that's a uh, voltage of the remote, and I'm going to select the external voltage, sorry, the TX voltage 1, which is the voltage of the receiver. And then I'll also select the error. And if I hold cancel here, so I'll go back. And there you go. There is my error there. Now, I've found that it always just shows 1%. It does change to other percentages, but it just, for some reason, just stock shows 1%. Right, so I've jumped into clean flight now. You want to come into clean flight after you've bound your receiver to the transmitter and soldered the signal cable to port number four. Okay, so you can see I've got the quiet, uh, quad all set up here, so everything's moving, everything's right. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to come over into ports over here, and you're gonna have to come down to this UAR2, and usually this serial RX will be unselected. What you wanna do is you wanna select it, then just save and reboot your board. Okay, so once that's done, you wanna come to new, into your configuration, and you want to select the RX serial, which is the SBUS, which is right here. So you can select that. Then you come down here. Now, I had to do a bit of guessing here. I selected SBUS first, but then I went through and realized I had to select IBUS. Now, the reason you want to select IBUS down here is because with the older version remotes, they're still transmitting on IBUS or just your normal signal to the receiver. These older remotes do not have um, SBUS capabilities. So what that means is you have to select the IBUS down here. Now, why we've put in the SBUS up here is because the receiver will be talking to the flight controller through SBUS. So you'll get the benefits of using SBUS without actually having a SBUS um, transmitter. Okay, so once you've selected those two, you want to save and reboot the board. Okay, so now once you've done that, I'll just power up the quad. And turn on the remote. As you can see here, I have got all the controls. And as you'll notice with SBUS, if you are using PWM, you might notice like a slight flickering like this in between all the channels. With SBUS, you'll have a constant signal, which is the great benefits of SBUS. Okay, so if you liked this video or enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment down in the description if you have any tips or anything you want to see in the future. I hope this helped you guys and have a great day.